I'd like to introduce you to make a tippy tappy. Now, when you're working outdoors with groups, you need a way for people to clean their hands. And we all need to think a little bit about hygiene. So this is a really nice, um, contraption, if you like, to put up in your woods. Now you can keep, make them permanent or you can carry them around with you. So I'm gonna show you a permanent one and then just talk through a few little alternatives. So what do you need for Tippy Tappy? Well, you're gonna need some pieces of wood. Now the permanent one that we're making is you're gonna to need to find a nice piece of wood with a lovely V shape at the top. That's gonna to help you to make it simple. I'll show you what I mean. So I've got two of these, one and two. And then you're gonna need two other pieces of wood. Doesn't need to have a V shape, just two nice pieces of wood. And the thickness you might need to consider, but I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. What else do you need? Well, you're gonna need a container to put the water into, and you're gonna need something to make a hole, two holes, in fact, in that container. And I'm gonna use a hammer and a nail. You could use a screwdriver. Obviously just general hygiene, you wanna have something to dry your hands with. In the COVID situation, you might use towels, paper towels so you can throw them away. Otherwise you might use um, different, different ways of cleaning, drying your hands. In another situation, you're gonna need some soap. And actually one thing to bring up right now, cause it's cold and we're in the winter, it's really important to think about having some warm water for people to clean their hands under because if your hands are cold you're not going to want to do that 20 second hand wash so I always carry a flask of hot water with me also for tea but also to add into my container to make sure that that water is really really warm and inviting for people to use so that's a nice little top tips okay how do we do it well because it's permanent what's happened is I've actually dug beforehand you don't want to watch me digging I dug two holes in the ground. It's clay here, so it's quite um, easy to dig into, but also it kind of compacts around the wood quite nicely. Two holes, and then in goes your two main pieces of wood. Now, simple as, we're gonna simply put it into your hole and then compact the soil around it. And you might notice this one, because I've done it earlier, We've actually removed the bark. It's a little other little top tip which allows the wood to last for long, longer. It stops it rotting. So you might want to do that, you might not. So in it goes into the hole, making sure that your V is facing the way you need it to go. And then in a minute we can compact that down again. And then the second one here goes here like this into, into the hole here all the way down and that's good enough. So why have I got that V? Well, it's because I want to be able to put, simply put a piece of wood in there to hang my container from. So you can see this is just one variation. A quick uh, other way to do that might be to create your own, get two sticks to create your own nice triangle with two sticks, tie it round. Now that might be wobbly, so you could, if you wished, you could carve a nice point at the end, chuck it in, bang it in, and there you have another way of creating those uprights. Alternatively, you could have two pieces of strong bamboo, tie them together to create that lovely V that you're looking for, which we've got naturally here. So these are just a few alternatives to think about as always have a play with it. So we've got the basic structure here and now let's look at the container. So you can use a milk bottle container and all sorts of things but I like using one of these containers. Um, so because this is something we use all the time out in the woods we've already created the holes but I'm going to show you how we've done it. Now there are many variations. What's important here is that you've got you've got a hole here which is where the water is going to come out okay and you also what we've done here is we've attached um we made a hole in the lid don't have to do it this way but we've made a hole in the lid which basically threads through a nice bit of paracord it's got a knot at the end so it doesn't come out so you'll see why 
why that's important as well. So we've got that going on there. And we've got another hole here. So basically by having two holes in your container, it allows the air pressure to be as such that it flows out easily. If you don't have another hole, you'll find the water coming out will be very, um, won't run that well is the best way of saying it. Okay, so what's this other piece of string? Well, you don't necessarily need this, but because the wood I've got is quite thick, I can't pass it through here. If it was thinner, this wood, then I could simply put it through the handle. But because it isn't, all I've done is I've got another piece of string here that I'm gonna tie this onto. And effectively, before we finalize it all, this is how it's going to work. So this is going to be pulled. And when this gets pulled, hang on a second, when this gets pulled, the water will come out. That's basically the thinking, okay? So before I put it up there, I need to fill it with water. So let's do that. So every time I come to the woods, I have to bring water. So I want to just take another container and we're just going to fill this with some water. Try not to waste the water, but You have to carry the water in. You definitely try not to waste it. And then as I said, put a little bit of hot water in, just so it's really nice to wash your hands with. Here we go. Nice bit of hot water in there. And that's just a daily practice using a tippy tappy. Unless you're in a really hot country, then you wouldn't need to do it. Again, just a quick reminder, I take the nail, put it onto the plastic and just hammer it in or use a screwdriver to make my hole. So it's just that. Put my lid back on here. Like that. And then what I might do here is just tie a little overhand here like this. Take this off, put that through. So now, how am I going to get this to actually release water? How am I going to actually? Well, I need to create a kind of lever. So this is where that last bit of wood comes in. So here we go. Take a piece of wood. Now you can tie it any old way, but if you've been following earlier course, then you'll know you could do a clove hitch. I'm not going to go through that. Slip that on there. Clove hitch like that. And then that hangs like that. Press that and the water comes off. But first, let's just add in a few extras to finish off. We've got our paper towel hanging there. We've got our nice soap hanging there. Tie this up again. Bit of soap. Wash my hands. 20 seconds. Sing the tune. Press the lever. Lovely. That is a tippy-tappy, I think, all of five minutes with a bit of preparation.